Yes, 92.3 Inspiration FM Lagos, your number one family radio station. Welcome to this Thursday edition of Road to Wembley, your number one guide uh, through the Euros. My name is Leye Adulujan. I'm, jo- Adulujan. I'm joined by Anthony Adulu and uh, Bode Bruno. And of course, uh, the show is live on Facebook uh, at Inspiration FM 92.3. So you can watch us uh, there uh, on uh, Inspiration FM 92.3. So if you want to see what I look like or what Bode Bruno looks like or what Anthony looks like, uh, just go back to Facebook, uh, Inspiration FM 92.3 and you see all of us live in action the euro start tomorrow and we cannot wait opening match of course are between turkey and italy and we are all very excited about that what a festival of football uh, that uh, promises to be and today i uh, will continue uh, to look at uh, the groups our focus today i uh, will be on uh, groups e and the uh, groups uh, sorry groups e and f and that means i will be talking about the likes of france germany portugal spain on um, today's edition of uh, road to wembley and don't forget we'll also have our daily give away two airtime vouchers up for grabs all you have to do is to answer uh, the question of the day and uh, we will be of course uh, giving uh, the winners uh, that so uh, plenty to look forward to as usual on road to Wembley but before we get to the groups uh, let's um, uh, check out the news Ooh-hoo. maybe I should consider a different career <laughs> did you hear what I just said uh, did you see what I just did before we get to the groups let us look at the news I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Did you lie? Sorry. Are you are you serious? Groups, groups and news. Groups and news. That is Anthony. Eminem would be Anthony. Kicking himself Anthony. Anthony. If, Anthony. if, you, knew, if you were any good at English, <laughs> yes, you, you, know that, you, know that, you know that. You know that is not news. It's news. News. So groups and news. It doesn't. <laughs> let's do the news Anthony the Euro is making the rounds this yeah, morning very quickly let's start with Spain actually uh, they have another positive test Diego Llorente mm. of Spain has tested positive um, to um, COVID-19 and he's also isolating alongside um, the captain Sergio Busquets mm. now uh, all of this just means well, that's the only two positive tests mm. they have all of this just means that the country has, has decided that they're going to vaccinate all their players mm. before the competition shouldn't that have been done before the start why did they have, did they have to wait for the COVID-19 test or, well, positive, if, test, if the or players, positive cases before they decided that they vaccinate people well if the players are not testing positive mm. they probably felt like um, mm. the vaccines are in short supply mm. there are the old war the um aged ones and then the children as well mm. are always the ones who get priority in things like this but now that you know players are testing positive and all of that mm. they decided to give uh, some of the players uh, I, hope, I hope their participation in the event is not in any danger, no, it's not in any danger. Yeah. The, the players who have tested positive have been removed from mm. the squad okay. and then they've been isolated and they also have a different bubble mm. with players who are on standby waiting to be brought in as well we have um, the likes of um, Iago has passed in mm. that bubble as well and a few other players as well so um, it's, it's alright I think I think the Spaniards will be fine mm. to play in the competition wish right. them well yeah. um, we'll talk about them later on because yeah. they are part of the <laughs> previous of today let's go to the England national team um, apparently uh, it seems that um, the manager um, Gareth Southgate is considering mm. playing Luke Shaw at centre-back um, apparently the trainings that have been done um, in the last few in the last few days has um, featured Luke Shaw at centre-back mm. Luke Shaw and um john stones and um car walker three man center back pairing with them um, john stones as the only real mm. center back in that uh, in that setup so is he getting ahead of himself <laughs> i mean playing two two full backs as central central defenders or is it the case of maybe harry Maguire not being fit enough that's why he's trying to you know tweak the formation a little bit i think to be fair to him it's probably yeah. because harry Maguire is not really yeah. fit enough to play at least the first game and then he's just trying to do a makeshift um, system over there. And then when everybody's fit, I'm sure Maguire will be partnering with John Stones mm. in Central Defence. That would be a very attacking England team, by well, the way. But then again, you yeah. wonder why he's going this route. If you don't trust Tyrone Mings, if yeah. you don't trust Conor why did you pick them? Why did you pick them? If yeah. you don't trust Ben White, mm. why did you pick them as well? So mm. it's all a bit you know, weird to me. But hey. Yeah, we'll, we'll see what Gareth Salgu does in England's opening match against Croatia, I believe. Yep. Uh, that's uh, the country they take on in their opening match. So very quickly, let's yeah, move on. Over now. to Belgium. Yeah. Um, Kevin De Bruyne, he's not been part of any training with Belgium. He's with the squad. But he's not been part of any build, uh, training with the team because obviously you know he had surgery on a fractured face mm. and he suffered in a Champions League final and that means that he's unlikely to feature in that first game um that the, in Belgium's first game at the competition but they have some good news mm. um Eden Hazard has been part he hasn't played any friendly yet but he's been part of all the training mm. um this week that they've had ahead of the uh, opening game of the competition so captain might be playing that uh, their mm. opening game so that's good news for the Belgians heading into this one and all just right. finally some good news for um, the Scottish national team, John Fleck mm. has also returned to training. Of course, he's tested positive to COVID-19, and he was isolated for a while. But he's done his isolation; he's free of the virus. He's back with the squad, 
and um, obviously one of the key players yeah. going into this competition as well. And just quickly, just one friendly yeah. from a team going to the Euros. Um, Portugal defeated um, Israel by four goals, you know, mm. two goals from Bruno Fernandes, one from Cristiano Ronaldo. So looking great. And I asked a question in the morning. Maybe I should ask again. Was any of the goals and uh, penalty? No, no, pen- no, 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 no penalties. Uh, Ronaldo. No, pen- no, no penalty. There's Penaldo and penalty <laughs> <laughs> in the Portuguese team. But I think Ronaldo will be taking their penalties. Of course, unfortunately for for that. Bruno Fernandes. And he's better at it than Fernandes. Are you sure about that? Well, you know, Are you sure about that? Bruno, Bruno, you're a Manchester United fan. Anyone better than Penaldo? Sorry, Fernandez in penalties. <laughs> so Portugal four 0 yesterday. The champions are rounding up their preparation. Uh, we start a very very good win. Remember, you can always um, uh, join us on Facebook at Inspiration FM ninety two point three. So go over there now uh, to watch uh, Road to Wembley live. You can also send us your message on WhatsApp zero eight one seven three one three six one nine three. We are all looking forward uh, to the start of the Euros. Remember, the competition begins tomorrow uh, with the opening match uh, between Turkey and uh, Italy, and uh, we are sure that you're also very excited about uh, the european championship so let's move on to the groups now uh today we're looking at groups e and f group e we have uh, spain poland uh, sweden and slovakia and group f uh, the group of death uh, we've got world champions france uh, european champions portugal germany and uh, poor old hungary uh, who have been uh, stuck uh into the group of uh, the hungry wolves <laughs> anyway whatever you know let's start with group e spain obviously the favorite but uh, their preparation for the tournament hasn't been as smooth as uh, it should be obviously there was a controversy uh, surrounding the squad and then the covid 19 outbreak um do, do we expect them to have any trouble moving through this group uh poland obviously they have robert Lewandowski. sweden traditionally are mm-hmm. very difficult to beat on slovakia maybe dark horses in the group yeah and um Le, like you did say um mm. spain on a good day on paper they shouldn't have any problems, mm. you know, navigating this group. But when you look at the fact that there's been so much drama around the squad mm. leading up to the Euros, like you did mention, uh, a lot of controversy, mm. no Real Madrid players. And when you look at the fact that the, the Real Madrid players are a major, you know, part of this team, the likes of Nancho, Asensio, Vasquez, and even Isco, and, and the captain as well, Sergio Ramos. We know Ramos, towards the, uh, towards the end of the season, wasn't really fit, injuries and all that. But the main thing is how Bill... Uh, the coach of the side, Luis Enrique, mm. navigates all of those problems because it's a big worry ahead of uh, their, their opening game. Mm. And also, you look at the fact that, yes, they have some young, exciting talent, mm. but how can they manage to hold that defense uh, together? You can say uh, Paul Torres and the rest of them, mm. yes, up and coming, but do they have the experience? You know, uh, um, the, the experience on the big stage, that's one question that needs to be answered uh, when the Euros uh, do indeed start. But uh, a lot of uh, a lot of um, creativity mm. will be on the shoulders of Thiago Alcantara. Mm. Yes, we know he's got the ability, you know, to control the midfield. But at the end of the day, wouldn't that be too much on mm. his shoulders? Because you would expect maybe a team that has the likes of Isco, mm. Asensio, you'd expect them to at least, you know, share the body. Mm. That is my problem with Spain. Mm. But overall, would expect that they do have, you know, at least a good enough squad, mm. you know, to navigate the group stage. Mm. But can they go beyond the round of 16 or even get into the quarterfinals? Mm. I do not think so. All right, and uh, the other teams in the group. Uh, obviously, you think Spain will win the group? Um, if I if I get they it correctly, sh- they should. They should. They should win. Anthony's, the group. Uh, Anthony's shaking his head. No, so, no, um, so maybe we should bring him in. <laughs> here. Like to be I yeah. thought Spain would struggle. Yeah. But again, we look at the quality in that side. They have some decent players. Yeah. And when you look at the likes of Poland and Sweden, but they were the qual- who, who are the quality players in the Spanish <laughs> team. I mean, and I'm looking at the squad. You mentioned Thiago. Uh, they are center forwards uh, Alvaro Morata and Gerard Moreno. The guys on the right, the guys on the wide side, wide areas, uh, Danny Omo, Ferran Torres. Uh, it's not like, bad players. They are not bad players, but I mean, yesterday we were talking about uh, which team were we talking about yesterday? Um, um, the, Netherlands. the Netherlands. And yes. you know, you, 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 I could argue that the Netherlands are actually better than the Spaniards, given the the quality, quality of the two squads. You true. know, I mean, Danny Omo. Again, I'm looking at the quality. Alvaro Morata, Gerard Moreno, uh, even at the back, Diego Llorente. Uh, uh, they, are, they are decent footballers, but they are not players that will, will drive any fear. It's Again, look at the rest of the teams yeah. in the group, yeah. the likes of Poland and Sweden. Mm. And it's not like they have, you know... But that's the problem. They can do a job on the Spaniards. You know, Sweden will know they will defend for the entire 90 minutes and hope to, you know, make a go by a set piece or something. Personally, I think the Swedes will top that group. 
mm. is a toss up between Poland and Spain for second. Wow, that's I like the way, I like the way I like the way the Swedes play. Mm -hmm. We have some useful players in that team as well. Like Isaac is coming from coming off a good yeah. campaign in Spain as well. Rest of say that um, they still have the experience of Sebastian Larsson mm. somewhere in there, and they've got you know um, some decent players. The United Lindelof mm. is somewhere in there as well. Yeah. So mm -hmm. they've got some decent players, and like you said, they can defend for their lives, mm. keep things compact, and just frustrate you. Mm. And they have quality to nick a goal mm. at the end of the day. So I, I fancy the Swedes to top this group. Is a toss up for Spain between Spain and wow. Poland for second. Interesting call. <laughs> Remember, <laughs> you, you can let us know what you think about the Spaniards. Uh, go to WhatsApp uh, 0817 313 six one nine three do you think spain uh, will have any problems uh, navigating uh, group e remember the other teams in the group are poland sweden and uh, slovakia and you can also uh, send us a message on facebook uh inspiration fm 92.3 uh, that's the facebook handle so uh, let's uh, move away from that remember we still have a giveaway uh, coming up so let's uh, i know a lot of you are waiting for that so let's just uh, like yeah, what are they saying what's my business with spain <laughs> when there's giveaway <laughs> anyway group f anthony that's uh, one everyone is you know, yeah. looking out for france the world champions uh, portugal the reigning european champions germany and the perennial you know superstars of, mm -hmm. of this major tournament and of course like i said earlier for old hungry they will be eating <laughs> for lunch by the other in this group won't they <laughs> oh absolutely um on paper again <laughs> In every tournament, there's always the, the team that surprises everybody. It's not hungry. We saw, we saw Iceland and Wales. Yeah. In the previous not one. hungry for yeah, There you go. There you go. Not, not hungry, hungry in this group. group. Exactly. Not, not so group. I think it will be yeah. the whipping boys in the group. And then you look at the uh, remaining three teams, you know, superstars, all of them. But then um, I'm sure everybody will just look at the Germans and rule them out, given all the issues they had coming into this competition. Mm. And the fact that they have to go and bring back uh, Thomas Muller and Matt Thomas back into the team. Timo Werner not really scoring all that many goals. Kai Havertz, he has scored in the Champions League final, but generally, he has such a good season. Mm. Uh, Joaquin Love leaving after the, after the tournament, but the Germans have never been a team that raises too many trees before a mm. tournament. They're a proper tournament team. Check their history. They always get to the semi-final and final, finishing third in the World Cup or winning the silver medal. They always get to the latter stages mm. of major tournaments. I don't know how they do it. They always find a way to click mm. in major tournaments. I think they will come out of this group as mm. well. Maybe as best losers, you don't mm. know. But I think they, are, they have the quality. They have the experience mm. to navigate their way around this group. Of the bat, you fancy the French yeah. as the favorites to come out of this group. They have the balance. Um, everybody else, everybody else has the bookies' favorites mm. to win it as well. They have the defense, they have the midfield, they have the attack as well. Yeah. Kylian Mbappe bringing back Karim Benzema. I think it's much of the squad that went to the World Cup in 2018, yeah. and then they've added Karim Benzema mm -hmm. to it as well. So the quality in this team is there, and they have um, champ title winning experience. Mm. Manager has title winning experience as mm. well. So you fancy them to top the group again. It's a toss up between Portugal and Germany, as much as the Portuguese are. Um, defending champions, champions coming yeah. into this one. Yeah, I'm not a huge fan of Fernando Santos. Mm. I don't think he plays the kind of football that appeals to me. Mm. I'm personalizing it now because who cares about what appeals to you? They are different. If they, they can different. win a yeah. European title with that style, who cares about what appeals to you? Absolutely, absolutely. So you, about, you are saying they will not qualify because their style does not appeal to you? Uh, no, I'm saying that they will be easily found out. There's okay. barely any any. Why didn't they find them out? Find them out in 2016? Well, um. These uh, teams are better. This team, this, this, team, this, this Portuguese team is better than the Portuguese team that who? won the title in 2016. Says who? They've got uh, Ruben Diaz has come up in leaps and bounds. They've, they've, got, they've, they've got, got Bernardo Silva, who's better than he was, you know, back then. They've got Bruno Fernandes. We didn't even know him back in 2016. Okay. Mm -hmm. what, I mean, what do you mean? This and then, this and then all these players, players, all these players back then they yeah. had they had a few you know hard workers, work yeah. hard people. Yeah. Um, the likes of um, um Joao Pedro, Joao yeah. Mario, yeah. and then William Cavallo and all these guys. Yeah. Andre Gomez. Now they have a lot of flair players, but the coach doesn't play that way i think it stifles them a little bit mm. let's be honest and i think that will be their undoing shouldn't that make them better no, not dangerous so. though because if you have a coach that you know focuses on defense and discipline and you know a refusal to lose obviously that makes them solid but then you have the x factors all around the pitch around in bruno fernandez cristiano ronaldo bernardo silva guys that at any moment you know can can make something happen shouldn't that make them even more dangerous those players because they'll be hard to beat and they have much winners on the field those players thrive on seeing a lot of the ball that's mm. the problem they don't they are not uh most word now they are mm. not as quick as you'd like mm. first of all Bruno Fernandes is not the quickest Bernardo Silva is not the quickest to go on that sort of counter like mm. I said they had Quaresma they had mm. Nani they yeah. had uh Gon 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 Carlo Guedes is, in the yeah. previous one as well so yeah. they had the quick players Ronaldo is what 35 mm. he's not as quick as he was so having them 
sit back and be conservative and try to go on the break mm. might be counterproductive to them these players are players who want the ball and want to um, express themselves with the ball mm. taking that away from them take something away from the portuguese team mm. that's why i think they will struggle i think all three teams will qualify yeah um one of them has best losers all but right. i think the portuguese will not go on to all right so teams. who's going to win the group who's going to be second um, i call? think france to win the group yeah germany to be second and portugal to be said yes. best losers qualifying into the round of 16 buddy you don't agree obviously france portugal then probably germany all right thank you very very much guys uh <laughs> but bruno and anthony Ajiro have made their calls who do i think will qualify i think france i think i'll go portugal uh before germany and from the other group i think spain and uh, maybe sweden i'm full on i really don't know i don't know about <laughs> that <laughs> anyway uh let's uh, have your thoughts on uh, whatsapp 0817 Three one three six one nine three. Message here uh, from Bagamos from Ebeda. He says Spain are going nowhere in this competition. Uh, they can only come out of this group as best loser. I repeat, Portugal are the favourites uh, in Group F and not the French. So thank you very much, uh, Bagamos. Uh, good morning, guys. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, my good friends. Uh, from my keen observation, it does seem like Gareth Southgate and Gennaro Rowe are caught from the same clothes. Both are very rigid. That's Alex uh, from Shogula. And the guys, 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 Southgate is many things, but I don't think rigid is what you have to see with the man. Certainly not to get a rock kind of rigid. Not get a rock kind of rigid, yeah. but he really, really sticks to the tried and tested mm. and trusted. All right, uh, more messages are coming through. Good morning, guys. France are my favorites uh, to win uh, the national league whatever the national oh, league is i have no, no idea no, no, no. i was talking about the european championship <laughs> like the second biggest of football tournament in the world yep. after the fifa world cup uh sorry the africa coalitions but well, that's let's be honest there's a reason yeah have postponed their own to next year yeah true <laughs> correct uh spain have nowhere to go that's stadios uh thank you very much adios for reaching out on whatsapp again the number whatsapp is 0817-313-6193 very soon we will open the phone lines uh you can also watch us live on facebook at inspiration fm 92.3 you can also leave a message on facebook we'll try to read as many as possible so let's move on to the part you have all been waiting you enjoyed for this video hit the subscribe button for more leave a comment and like thank you